Hello again. My name is Gabe Zona. This is the 26th of November. Just read an interesting article. Might this explain the helicopters that went into the CIA a few days ago? Huh? Fire damages CIA headquarters and reveals a gigantic drug lab. Langley, Virginia. A major explosion occurred last night at the headquarters of the Central Intelligence Agency, igniting a fire which almost completely destroyed an annex of the building and led to the discovery of a suspected drug lab. I guess they just can't get enough money, huh? <laughs> the detonation took place around 11.30 p.m. last night. The powerful blast was heard from miles around the complex and sent plumes of black smoke into the air. The firefighters of the Langley City Fire Rescue were rapidly mobilized on the site. They were fought to the fire for almost six hours before they were finally able to extinguish the flames. While inspecting the building to secure the area, they found large quantities of chemicals and over-the-counter medications that are used to make meth and fentanyl. The firefighters transmitted information to the Fairfax County Sheriff's Office, FCSO, which dispatched dozens of deputies and investigators on the scene. After conducting a search of the West Wing of the George Bush Center for Intelligence, huh, Georgie, huh? They found more than two tons of pure facetohedrin, as well as large quantities of acetone, iodine crystals, battery acid, drain cleaner, lantern fuel, and antifreeze. The various chemicals found on the scene are either used to produce meth or fentanyl, and we also found a lot of drugs at FCSO spokesman Jared Matters. We also found large quantities of these drugs in a nearby storage room that was spared by the fire. The Fairfax County Sheriff's Office confirmed it had opened an investigation to determine if the site was an illegal drug lab. Well, what the hell else do you think it was, huh? <laughs> this is not the first time the CA is accused of manufacturing and trafficking illegal drugs. When the CIA was sponsoring a secret war in Laos from 1961 to 75, it was accused of trafficking in opium. The CIA made its own internal inquiries of its staff and clients in Laos concerning a drug trade and admitted small amounts of opium had been smuggled via their contract aircraft. That's what I said in the other video, folks. Several state and federal investigators have also taken place concerning the alleged use of the MENA Intermountain Municipal Airport as a CIA drop point in large-scale cocaine trafficking beginning in the 1980s. That's when little Billy Bob was governor of Arkansas. This is the first time, however, that drugs were seized on an official CIA installation, and the incident could have some very serious consequences for the organization which is already at odds with the new American president. Neither the White House or the CIA have officially reacted yet, but many analysts expect Donald Trump to use this investigation as a pretext to cut the agency's funding. Well, maybe Donald Trump can do what President J.F. Kennedy intended to do, which was to scatter the CIA over the four winds. Another reason he got whacked. Folks, again, I don't make the news. I'll attach the link. You look at it. You let me know what you think. He yeah, sure as hell know what I think. I'm also going to do another video based on a Wikipedia article in the CIA smuggling drugs. <laughs> Thanks for listening.